It's long been known that pollution from burning fossil fuels is extremely harmful to our health. A new report paints a much darker picture. It estimates more than 8 million people die every year after breathing the emissions that are left in the air. As Redmond Shannon reports, experts believe making the move to renewable energy is more critical than ever before. Air pollution is a huge health issue, particularly in rapidly developing nations. The most recent estimates had said 4 million people die every year due to the microscopic PM2.5 particles released when burning fossil fuels and biomass. But now researchers led by Harvard University say it could be more than double that number, even when the effects of forest fires, wood burning and dust are excluded. We estimate just from fossil fuel combustion that there are 8.7 million premature deaths each year. That means almost one in five adult premature deaths worldwide could be down to pollution coming from burning coal, oil and gas. Scientists used existing data that links emissions and disease and then added a mathematical model that divided the world into smaller segments. It helped identify how dense pockets of pollution can affect deaths. And so what we could do with the simulation is tease out the contribution from fossil fuel combustion. And so when we combined those two tools, we estimated premature mortality that's much greater than previously reported. More than half the deaths are in China and India, though both countries are taking measures to reduce pollution. The report estimates that more than 13% of premature adult deaths in Canada were caused by fossil fuel pollution in 2018. Broken down by province, Ontario was the highest at more than 17, Newfoundland and Labrador was less than 2%. However, the data they used for Canada is already somewhat outdated and there is a wide margin of error, but the results are still broadly in line with what Canadian experts have seen. What some of these newer studies are finding is that even at relatively low concentrations, relatively good air, we still see uh, a significant impact in terms of increased risk to our health. That risk caused by pollutants is on top of the impacts of climate change. The drive to net zero must become the new normal for everyone, everywhere, for every country, every company, city, financial institution. The UN's crucial COP26 climate change summit is scheduled for November in Glasgow, when each nation is expected to present more ambitious targets for reducing emissions. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.